The slightly more formal clothes are an indicator that I'm doing some sort of a work experience thing uh, across the week, which is why I'm filming on the Saturday. Um, I have a choice of two ties. I'll let you guys guess which one I'm going with. I've just realised how much lower the quality is between like the rest of the vlog and that first clip that you've just seen. Um, we're going to have to put up with it because it's already all recorded. Maybe next week there'll be something better. I mean... Video quality aside, you're not in for much of a treat. It's just me saying, uh, I like the book, can't give you any spoilers, so go read it. Now, I'd like to confess that I don't read anywhere near as frequently as I'd like to, and because of that, I think that I'm probably nowhere near as passionate about reading as some of the other people on this collab channel. But I do have a few recent books that I've read, and I'll gladly share them with you. I feel like these kind of videos regularly leave way too much room for spoilers, and because of that, I'm only going to share some of the information from the blurbs of these books because I would like to keep some of the major plot twists and, you know, um, just generally the spoilers away from me. The first book I'm going to talk about is A Game of Thrones by George R. 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 Martin, uh, which I'm sure all of you already know all about um, because of the HBO series and probably the books as well. Uh, the HBO series is very, very good, as are the books. Um, I think some of the, the, the well, characters... Uh, characters are made by how interesting and unpredictable they are. And that being said, I really am surprised to find that a lot of people uh, love Daenerys Targaryen because I'm really, really not partial to her. She seems quite dull to me. I, I think a lot of the Lannisters are my favourite characters as well as uh, Sandor Clegane, the Hound, because why not? <laughs> They're freaking awesome. Um... So yeah, there's not a lot more to talk about that because I'm pretty sure it's already well understood and I have a time limit. So This tiny little Martin Gardner book has also been one that I've been looking over recently. Um, it's because it's really, well, there was a lot of things on YouTube about him. And so I thought since he was such a, an apparently revolutionary character, I had to at least see something that he'd done. So I bought this and... Uh, it didn't disappoint. It was really quite funny and interesting. Uh, another book that I recently read was Dostoevsky's The Idiot, because it's uh, been recommended to me a few times. And I, while I'm here, I might as well mention that I'm a massive fan of these uh, Penguin Classic style books, because they're obviously the classics, and they're really, really cheap. So you can get a lot out of them uh, for a low cost. Um, there's not a lot I can tell you about this book without sort of ruining the plot and stuff. So... I'm just going to have to recommend it to you. Um, there's not a lot to say about this one. It's by Stephen Fry, which is why I read it. It's pretty, you know, gloomy and depressing, but it's really well written, I think. Um, I liked it. This was bought by my mother for me uh, when she went to New York because she's a like devout Christian Catholic person, and I'm nothing of the sort. I'm actually, well, I'm agnostic, bordering on atheist. And so she bought this. Um, I'm not sure what a point was there, but there was definitely one. And finally, uh, The Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. I'm sure you've heard of that one. It's probably his most famous one, Thomas Hardy. Uh, I don't know why I read that. It was there. It's a Penguin classic. It's nice. It's one of the only books I've got without a fully broken spine. Abrupt video ended.